Nathan Brown, my new position is assistant coach working for Rollsy. When I was working at the Eels, I really liked it. I liked working for the club. I've, I've got a good relationship with Buckets and Jim and all the people I work with. I really actually enjoyed the club. You know? so when I did leave, I always said that it was a great club to work for. So Rollsy was um, talking to St George a while ago and when he was talking there, he said, would I want to go and work for him? At that stage, I was living in Sydney and I thought, well, that'd be fun. I thought that'd be good fun. And then obviously Rollsy come along to Parramatta and initially I wasn't looking to be living in Sydney at that stage, so nothing really come of it, but um, I just, I like the idea of working with Jace, I, I played with him when he was very young, I coached him when he was obviously, you know, in the, probably the prime part of his career, but I just like the apprenticeship he's done, he's done a wonderful apprenticeship, he's worked under some terrific coaches, had some, a lot of different experiences, and as far as younger coaches go, he's probably done as good an apprenticeship as you could probably ask of anyone to do, and he's given himself his best possible hope, so, I'm you know, quite confident that he's going to bring some new things to the club, um, which, you know, when you change clubs, that's what you're hoping, I suppose. You, know, you have a coach that did, you know, BA did such a, a good job for such a long time, and then you bring a new coach in, he's going to have some different skills, so you hope that Rolsey can help, help grow the club again. You know, coaching today is probably harder than when I first started. You know, when I first started, there's, you know, there's a lot more shows, a lot more media around it, so. You know, there's probably less room for error, you know, and that's one of the good things as Rolls he's done. You know, he's done a big, he's done a good chunk of experience. He, you know, he couldn't probably ask him to even work with Eddie Jones in rugby union. You know, so he's diversified himself a little. You know, so whilst I've got the most experience out of everyone, I think I'm going to get as much from them as they'll get from me, which that's important for me. You now working with Semi, a, a young emerging coach, young Polynesian coach, which in, in our game day is very, very important. When nearly half the players are of Polynesian descent, you know, learning the different cultures and what's important and what's not. Again, I like to think I've learned some along the way, but Sammy's going to be a great teacher for not only me, but for the club there. Yeah, so the pathways in that, it's a much, much more difficult task than what people think. And when I say that, getting the right processes in place, that's one thing, but then keeping the kids is another thing. For Parramatta, if you can keep your best ones, you know, it gives you a great opportunity. And in Paris case, you know, if you look at Mitchell Mays actually started here, Dylan Brown's originally here, Junior Paulo, was originally here to Canberra to come back, you know, so some of Parra's, you know, best players at the moment have come through the pathways, and if you can get that part right, get your most important and best players coming through your pathways, and you, you know, you have to recruit around it a little bit, you give yourself a good chance.